Hello, everyone. Nothing says sovereign citizen like looking into your phone camera during a traffic stop and saying, let it be known that I am traveling. <laughs> I mean, this video has it all. Van Bayon, thank you for putting this up. We're going to watch this video. It's only a couple minutes long, and then I'm going to provide some uh, very humorous uh, content and analysis afterwards. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Welcome to Attorney Audit. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, oh, what is that? Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Yes, I'm going to change the name back. I haven't completed the full transition, but it's coming. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to watch this video. We're going to laugh. If you like my content, like, subscribe, and share. And oh yeah, I bought a book. I bought a book. There it is. Grab my book. You can find the link in the description below. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together the same time sip. Cheers. Okay, let's enjoy. So here we are today, right now, as you can see. All right, I get your uh, last name insurance, sir. I got insurance, but I do not drive with license because I am traveling and not driving. Say that one more time. I am traveling. I am American citizen. I do not have to uh, have a license to, to travel. Driving is driving is getting paid to drive. It's my constitutional right to travel. I don't have to have a license to drive to move my vehicle and my personal property. Is you know, that your, your license right there? That's my identification. You okay. can you can have that, sir. That's okay. not. You got to have a license to drive. No, I, I'm not driving. I'm traveling, sir. But you're in this vehicle yes. that's driving. That's not, this is traveling. My it's constitutional driving. right protects, my constitutional, I am protected by the constitution. I have the you right to travel. I don't have a license. I don't, I don't have a license. I had a license. My, my license has been, I gave my license back to get my right to travel back. I don't have to have a license. You do. Not to, to drive. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. <laughs> It's, you can, you're driving. You no, know, I am traveling. Okay, you're being recorded as well. Yes, yes. and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm yeah. also letting you know. I, it's I, also a privilege. I'm, I'm not, and I'm not trying to be a jerk or nothing, but I'm letting you know yeah. our constitutional right, you're right allows us to travel with our personal property on the roads that have been paid for us by our government. You're right. We, we have extent. the right. You're you know, right I'm right all extent. the way. A driver, you by definition in the Constitution, is someone that gets paid to drive. You still have a to person have a that is you. No, you. I'm you're not still. driving. I am traveling. You're driving. Let it, let it be known right now that I am traveling. I am not driving. I am, I am moving my personal property from point A to point B, which is driving. It, which is not driving. So okay. when you were, what, what do you do when you steer that steering wheel? I operate my vehicle. I move which my vehicle. Steering, it's not which is driving. An operator's license no, to drive. No, a license is for well, getting paid besides on the road. all that. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's she, let's she talk got, about what happened. Okay. Because yeah. I'm gonna get we'll get into the whole okay. license thing in just a little bit. Okay. Tell me what happened. All right. I'm in my lane just cruising, you know. And obviously, if I'm on your hip, you can't get in my lane. You have to know that I'm on your hip. I'm right on your hip. You can't try to get over. You're you're not giving any, it, no room for breaking. Period. You jump right over. I I, I have no choice but to hit the back. Of you. If I wasn't such a good driver, then it could have been a totally, it could have been totally wrecked out. Okay. Because she tried to switch lanes too early. Yes. You know you put your blinker on, but you also has have to get the time. The car that's closest to you time to go by. Or slow down in order for you to be able to make that lane. You have to know what's coming up beside you. If I'm in in your rearview mirror, uh, close up on you, you have to know that I'm beside you. If you don't know that I'm beside you, you're gonna try to pull over and run into a car, and that's exactly what she did. I'm supposed to change lanes, and she changed you. lanes too early. Yes, and struck you. Yes, and maybe she struck me. Yeah, and it was it all, it could have been where I hear her in the back, but. Soon as she switched lanes, that's when I hit the back of her car. Okay. So technically, from what you told me, 
She struck you while changing lanes. She struck me while changing lanes, yeah. Again, while you were driving. Why was why I was why was, I was traveling. It's still driving. It's not driving. It's still driving. Look, y'all see this? So you had the enter. This is a very nice officer, by the way. This I is a very nice that. officer and I appreciate him. He just does it. It's, it's their job to uphold the Constitution. It's a shame that they don't teach them the Constitution. But I, I commend this officer for being a nice guy. But I'm going to give him a chance to look up. You go on his computer, look up the United States Constitution and the Georgia Constitution that gives me the right to travel with my personal property without it being registered or me having a license. I'm going to give him a chance because if anything happens to my vehicle or me, I want $100,000 for depriving me depriving me of my constitutional and human rights. It's not your fault that they don't teach y'all the constitution that y'all are supposed to uphold. Now, I am traveling, not driving, but I commend this officer. He is a good guy. Now, do you have your license, your uh, insurance and registration? Oh, yeah. I don't I know it's just tag apply for I don't me. have to have, have to registration, but the insurance was in here. So when did you purchase the vehicle? This is my uh, wife's vehicle. She purchased it probably like a year ago. I a year ago? On the phone. Okay. The, the so you know the registration used... requirements? I don't know the registration requirements because I don't have to register my vehicle. Do you have the insurance? I have the insurance in here somewhere. Let me call her. Let's take a quick break. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Let's start with the cardinal sin of sovereign citizens and free travelers all right recording vertically on your phone no no listen everybody sovereign citizens free travelers whoever you are mom dad brother sister record like this record like this hold your phone like this don't hold your phone like this we get the half screen it takes away from the fun so he records this whole video on the vertical screen oh man my you know uh my eyes are rolling right away um the, the, <laughs> my favorite part of this is when he tells the officer the officer asked him for a driver's license he said he doesn't have one and he go he said he didn't need a license because he was traveling and the, the, the officer starts laughing he goes say that say that one more time <laughs> the guy repeats it i didn't need a license because he was traveling this this officer is great okay he's kind of having fun with it while also trying to do his job he laughed a little bit it must have been his first free traveler so he got a kick out of it i thought it was just funny how he just relaxed and he laughed and he said say it one more time that that's maybe one of the best burns i've ever seen on a sovereign citizen so then uh you know he tries to relate to this guy a little bit which i thought it was cool this officer said well, okay man well why don't you tell me what happened you know and they go through the whole scenario um about somebody changing lanes blah 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 all right um but the big problem here is he doesn't have his license right it's one thing to get into a little uh, a, a a little a scrap or whatever a little traffic incident but if you don't have your license that's almost always going to carry a bigger penalty than running a stop sign or changing lanes or cutting somebody off right driving driving without a license can be a fine that will suspend your license for additional periods of time i see this happen to people they get trapped in this vicious circle of license gets suspended they drive they get caught get suspended longer drive they get caught eventually they'll become an habitual offender and could be sentenced to jail so um you know it, it was it, and then and then like i said at the beginning at one point he turns the camera and says, let it be known that i am traveling like he's making this video log for court like dude it is not going to help you and just because you're taking your personal property from point a to point b you are still traveling go read my book all right it's you i'm sorry you're still driving holy cow the the sovereigns have brainwashed me or i brainwashed myself all right the whole you're drive you you know it's only driving if you're in commerce bunk bunk they basically patch together a bunch of different laws with different meanings to get the meaning that they want when the law doesn't mean what they say it means at all okay um 
Then he says, I want $100,000 for the deprivation of my constitutional rights. And again, like talking into the video, like somebody's going to reach through the screen and hand you $100,000, all right? Or so, you know what may happen? Some bunk fake sovereign citizen lawyer may contact you, tell you you can get he can get you the 100,000, like the attorney general Anthony William or whatever his name is. Okay, tell you you can get he can get you $100,000. He'll charge you 5,000 to get that 100,000. You'll never see that five thousand again so this guy was just you know off his rocker with the right to travel stuff poor brainwashed individual and uh i just i love i love this officer here the southern accent just really fit the situation and his attitude and him laughing and it really made for um an entertaining video and and where did you get the hundred where did he get the hundred k from he just pulled that number out of his head like i'd like to just pull those numbers out of my head yeah you owe me hundred thousand you owe me hundred thousand you owe me fifty thousand you owe me seventy five thousand you one million dollars <laughs> So uh, another another free traveler come comes and another free traveler goes. But whatever you do, please start recording your videos horizontally. Thank you for tuning in. Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Grab my book on sovereign citizens. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Peace.